Hi, and welcome back to Purple Collar Life. In today's video, we're talking about the steel yellow chain versus the steel green chain. And there's a lot of misconceptions here. A lot of people think the only difference is the chisel. And you can see that on this box, the yellow chain does say super on the chisel. And the green chain does say micro on the chisel. And a lot of people think that's the only difference. That's actually a common misconception. The real difference between these two chains has more to do with safety and less to do with that chisel. Now the chisel does make a huge difference when cutting and that's what we're gonna demonstrate today. I've got a brand new green chain on my brand new 20 inch bar on my old MS290 saw. A few videos ago, I did a video on how to change out the bar on your chainsaw. So if you're new to chainsawing, that might be valuable to you. I went from a 16 inch to a 20 inch bar on my MS290 Farm Boss. The process would be the same if you're doing an MS291, an MS261, most steel chainsaws. Now the reason we made that big difference from 16 to 20 inch was because of this huge oak tree. We were cutting this in a previous video and determined that even the 18 inch bar on my MS271 couldn't make it the whole way through. And I knew that the 20 inch bar, as we got further down to the trunk of the tree, won't make it through. And you can see that already, so this is obviously the narrow direction of the tree versus this way, but even the 20 inch bar won't make it the entire way through this way. And if you were cutting from top down, you can see we are a lot bigger than 20 inches that way. But we will be able to use this tree to demonstrate the difference between on an MS290, the green chain and the yellow chain. We'll also be using a smaller tree though that we can make a full cookie cut through with just the bar and chain without jumping to the other side. We're gonna time those and see the difference in time between the yellow and the green chain. But again, the misconception is that the, the chisel is the only difference. Stay tuned towards the end of the video. I'll explain to you the real difference between the green and the yellow chain. So this chain has never been used. The yellow chain has never been used. Brand new chains on a brand new bar. The way you can tell which chain it is, you'll see here right on the coupler of the chain. This is green, letting me know that this is the green chain. And you can see on the box, there's a green version and a yellow version of the warning. The yellow chain, when we get it out and put it on the saw, you can see that the coupler on it is yellow. So if you're not sure which chain you already have on your saw, you can use that coupler color to determine. So I'm gonna use the measure tool on my phone to see if we can determine how big this dry section of wood is. So I'll select there. It's saying that's about nine inches. To test to see the accuracy, we can measure the bar and see if we get about 19 inches. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. We're gonna do some cookies here on it, and then we'll do some cookies on the big piece of tree We'll compare those times with both saws. Okay, we're gonna make two cookies with the green chain. See how we turn out here. Cold start of the MS290. time 1648 okay 1648 for two cookies with the green chain we made the switch we've got the yellow chain now same thing two cookies on this old piece of oak Have we 
1453. It filled a lot faster, for sure. And I'll be interested to see from the GoPro view if the chips looked any different. But we've got a pretty good collection of chips down here on the ground. Okay, so before we run that same test through this huge piece of oak, obviously the cut time is going to be significantly greater cutting through something like this. I wanted to explain that difference to you between the green and the yellow chain. So you can visually see a difference in the green and the yellow markers, but the main difference has to do with what's written here on the side of the box. So the green box you can see says low kickback saw chain. And it says, this saw chain is designed to reduce the risk of kickback injury and meet the kickback performance requirements of ANSI. And then it lists the ANSI codes there when tested according to the provisions of ANSI. If you look at the yellow, so again, this is the yellow box. It's got a yellow warning. This saw chain may be capable of severe kickback that could result in serious injury to the user. Do not use this saw chain unless you have experience and specialized training when de in dealing with kickback. Saw chains with reduced kickback potential may be available in order to comply with ANSI. Power heads must be equipped with green labeled low kickback, low kickback chain, which is the green one. So a lot of people mistakenly think the only difference is the super chisel versus the micro chisel. And there is a difference in cutting capabilities, but the main reason for the two chains is the yellow one is not kickback ANSI rated, the green one is. That's why the yellow one cut faster. Right. And you can visually see a difference if you take a close inspection in front of each tooth there are two rakers on the anti-kickback chain. If you look at the yellow chain there's just one raker. So it cuts faster because you're not displacing as much wood before you cut and the angle of the tooth is greater. So two main reasons, but those same two reasons are what create a greater risk of kickback and injury versus the green chain. So Jennifer asked me, why am I using a yellow chain? I'm not a professional. What am I doing? Um, usually professionals would use the yellow chain because it does cut faster, but there are some safety provisions built into today's chainsaws that help prevent kickback injuries. Now kickbacks are dangerous and if you're wondering what is a kickback, a kickback is when for one reason or another the chainsaw comes back towards you and as you can see that could be you know, not a good situation if the bar was coming back towards you. The nice thing about the steel saws and I think most saws made today is when that happens your hand is going to hit this kickback break that will stop the chain from moving instantly. So that's why you know, the chain brakes used for a couple different things. One, whenever you put the saw down, you should put the chain brake on, and then when you pick it back up, turn the chain brake off. But it's mainly there as a safety procedure so that if the saw would come back towards you, your wrists and your hand are gonna kick that on. And that's why you should be wearing also your helmet and your face mask. Sure. Okay, so we're back with the MS290 20 inch bar, yellow chain on. We're gonna do a single cookie cut through this piece of wood to see how long it takes. We won't make it the whole way through, but we'll do our best and then we'll jump to the other side and make the finished cut. So one cookie cut with the yellow chain. Uh -huh.
5433. All right, I'm gonna finish the cut from the other side and then we'll switch the chain over. Fifty-seven eighty-five. Boy, that longer bar really helped go through that a lot faster. It does make a big difference, yeah. So there's our first cookie. That's huge. Okay, we're back to the MS290 20-inch bar green chain this time. And Jennifer says, you know, if you're just looking at this by itself, that almost looks yellowish. But if you compare it to the yellow chain, you can see the yellow chain is a really a yellow link. And this is like a fluorescent -y green type. Or if you hold it up to something green, then you can see that it's green. Yeah. So the, uh, the last cut through with the yellow chain was 57 total, mm -hmm. roughly, for both sides. We would expect this one should take a little bit longer. First half. 4568 was faster. It felt like it was faster. We may be debunking our own Maybe. hypothesis here. Okay, we'll finish the cut. So here is our second cookie cut. So there you go, our fun little video about the steel yellow versus the steel green saw. And again, the major difference is the kickback. Now I've read online that you can actually get the super chisel in a green chain. I know I've never been able to find one. I've only ever seen the super full chisel in the yellow chain that does not meet the ANSI kickback requirements, which the green chain does. So I had started out thinking, you know, I've watched Mike Morgan's video about the green chain versus the yellow chain. The yellow chain was faster. He didn't go as much into the safety and the anti-kickback. And I've watched old school millennials video about the yellow chain versus the green chain. Again, differences in those videos, those guys were both using a professional MS-261 saw. This is a MS-290. This is a farm and ranch grade saw. Maybe we debunked our hypothesis a little bit because we ended up in this huge oak with the green chain going a little bit faster than the yellow. Now there's a couple variables there. Maybe there was a softer spot in the wood. Maybe as I was cutting through, I used the dogs a little bit more or less as leverage, you know, pushing the bar down through the saw. So there are some variables, especially when you're just cutting one cookie at a time. But we ended up with on the nine inch diameter oak piece, the yellow chain was faster by a couple seconds, I think. And on the big, huge piece of oak, bigger than 20 inches and certainly longer than 30 inches, we ended up with the green chain being a couple seconds faster uh, than the yellow chain. So kind of maybe inconclusive test results there, but certainly fun. I'm glad I, I noticed the big difference having the 20 inch bar on. I was worried that maybe the 290 wouldn't handle the 20 inch bar very good. It did a great job. So I'm happy with that change. And if you haven't watched the video about what, when I almost bought the $100 chainsaw off of Amazon that had a 20 inch bar and how I saved $50, 
by just putting a 20 inch bar on my existing chainsaw, my good reliable steel, um, go ahead and check that video out. I'll put a link up above and down below for that one. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure you give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. It helps out the video, helps out the channel. And if you're not already following us, click that subscribe button. We make lots of videos about chainsaws, firewood, tractors, log splitters, and just rural living here in Northwest Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time. A lot of people like to call this man glitter. So here's the cookies we made today. Big pieces of the oak and the little pieces of the oak. We'll take these home and find something to do with them, even if it just means throwing them in the fire pit out back for a nice evening s'mores. Now I've actually been using the yellow chain and the green chain on my 16 inch bar for quite a while with the MS290. And I'll say that my results over a longer term of use have always been that the yellow chain does cut a little bit faster. It makes bigger chips, so bigger man glitter if you're watching the sawdust come out of the back of the saw. But I've also found that the yellow tooth chains uh, dull a little bit faster. So if you get these things in the dirt at all, or if your log has a lot of moss around the bark, this will dull a lot faster than the green chain. And it probably has to do with those extra set of rakers. I think the extra set of rakers protect the sharpened tooth a little bit better and the angle of the tooth. The angle of the tooth on the yellow chain is a little bit more severe. So as you dull that, it's actually getting more dull faster than the micro uh, angle of the green chain. So a little bit of a difference there in how long they last. So can you still sharpen them with your sharpening tool? So I've had the best success sharpening the green chain with my sharpening tool. I find that the yellow chain, at least the way I use my steel two-in-one sharpener, I can't get the yellow chain as sharp as it was brand new, whereas with the green chain, I can get it as sharp as it was brand new using my two-in-one sharpener.